एउटा यस्तो सोच जसले सामाजिक परिवर्तन गर्ने छ एउटा यस्तो सोच जसले आत्मसम्मान र ऊर्जा प्रदान गर्ने छ एउटा यस्तो सोच जसले देशको सम्मान बढाउने छ एउटा यस्तो सोच जसले आर्थिक परिवर्तनको ढोका खोल्ने छ एउटा यस्तो सोच जसले आफ्नो स्वाभिमान बढाउने छ देशव्यापी आइडिया कम्पिटिशन को टेलीजन रियलिटी शो में सहभागी भई उद्यमी बनने अवसर प्राप्त करइडिया पठान का ईमेल इन्फो एट आइडिया स्टूडियो नेपाल डट कम संपर्क नंबर शून्य एक पांच पांच दुई शून्य तीन चार सात पोस्ट बक्स नंबर तीन छ सात बकुंडो ललितपुर विस्तृत जानकारी का डब्लू 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 डट आइडिया स्टूडियो नेपाल डट कम अब Microsoft Innovation Center, UNICEF and Childless Nepal has partnered to identify the common issues related to children and help solve those issues through technology. They have jointly organized the program on June 27 to 29 in Dhulikhel. The winners of Child App Appathon, which was organized with an aim to develop innovative wave, phone, desktop and game application to solve common issues related to children have been announced. According to the organizers, the competition received 560 entries of which 380 applicants were selected and trained in a boot camp for 3 days on various programming skills and briefed on various issues that Nepali children face today. Of them, 102 young developers, programmers and designers were shortlisted who then came together as 29 teams for the 60-hour application development race. They had developed applications on topic including water quality testing, information about vulnerable children, teacher absenteeism, educational package for children with autism, immunization and application to aid pregnant women and mothers. Experts from various fields such as banking, technology, child rights and others volunteered to mentor the team throughout the event. Um time keeper is here at 2 minutes she will keep on raising her hand at 3 minutes you will be cut short. Okay so um Are we ready? You're ready. Yeah. So your time begins now. Many people, many children die because of waterborne diseases. More than seven thousand children die every year because they have to drink water ten times dirtier than this. So, respected judges, we are here with a promising technology to end this tragedy with a more dependable, feasible, and the only solution to stand this cause. We believe. As you can see, let me clear the scenario. A village has ten water resources, and we have a sensor that we integrate in each water resource. What the sensor basically does, it, it measures the contamination of the water, and then it sends the contamination data to our software part. The software then decides and alerts the people whether the water is drinkable or not. Now I want to move to the UI where our things will be more descriptive. Uh, this is our UI. We have built our system on top of Nepali's UI. So. Many people can benefit from this UI, but one question might arise in everyone's mind: There are a lot of illiterate people in Nepal. What about them? Well, we have tried to address that problem also. What we have done is our system uh, audio responses, and it tells the users that different colors are for different functions. So people can just recognize the colors and click. Moreover, we have integrated voice recognition, so I don't have to do anything. I just go over to the system, then I speak up what I want to do with the system. Then it will provide me audio as well as visual information as feedback. Um, suppose I want to know about the uh, contamination of water in my society. Then when I go to this UI, it shows the map and it shows all the details about the contamination. Moreover, I can select my area specifically, and then it will show only about that area. It will show. Uh, can you please switch the area? It will show which water source has drinkable water and which does not have drinkable water. Moreover, I can speak up the name of my area, like Kathmandu, and it will show the details about the Kathmandu. Moreover, we have also integrated a system that will tell about the health information. Suppose I want to know what is E. coli, and then I just click the E. coli or I speak of E. coli, then it will show information about E. coli, uh, what are the causes, what are the effects, and how can I prevent from E. coli, as well as it will read out the system. So we have targeted this for everyone. Equal access to everyone is our motto: able or disabled, literate or illiterate. And we also have a system for online query. So if I have a problem that is waterborne, I can just uh, query. I can just put my query, and it will automatically update it in our forum, which is now a Twitter page. And the technical expert will reply as soon as he can. In this way, we have created a complete ecosystem for water sanitation. 
Now, moving on to the next part. Next part is funding, the big part. And what we believe is for our funding for any project, community involvement is the most important part because people participate in the project and they suspend the project. Suppose our system now costs 30,000 tentatively with 200 people using one sensor, that makes 2,000 people. They can afford our system with only rupees 15 per head. And that too is a one-time investment for a lifetime of safe drinking water. Do you have a sample of the uh, device? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, this is the server. Beta? Mm -hmm. Versatile. Because now it can only tell about few of the impurities. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to develop a sensor that can, uh, that can tell us about as many contaminators as possible. Mm -hmm. And even bacteria. Like arsenic, E. coli, the pH value, dissolved oxygen, many more parameters. Good morning, everyone. We are the techniers, and the title of our project is Inter Interactive Virtual Classroom. Technology has been introduced in our life in every way, but what about in our children's education? Now let's put a look, let's look at that. In the parents, they send the children to the school and they go to learn. But uh, when the children get back home, they are very much tired, they are very much uh, depressed and sad because of the, the long hour in the classroom, the boring lesson and the punishment by the children, uh, punishment by the Teachers. <laughs> teachers, teachers, and uh, uh, due to which, and we, we checked on the internet and we got this that school is making the children want to kill themselves, and the, and the school is, school is uh, making them depressing, you know, and uh, they are hitting the school, that's the scenario, can you imagine that? Our school is not educating them, they are depressing them. Now, so what thing is wrong, so something is wrong there. So. The right hemisphere of our brain is very much responsible for our curiosity, creativity, and imagination. But what the, our traditional way of teaching does that, it is not motivating it. Instead, it is killing the creativity. That's the main reason. And so we need to enhance many of the new system. We need the change. And if we change nothing, then nothing will change. The same old thinking, the same old vision, always, always. And every child is special, let's unlock their potential. And the solution is the game is learning. Now we are going for the demo. We are trying to develop an interactive virtual class. Classroom where the children can learn in a fun. Uh, the children love fun. And they are, they are the future of our nation and the country. And if they are not educated properly and they are not developed properly, then then it's going to create a problem. Uh, the research says that if, uh, if the regular classroom takes two years of uh, progress in the child, then with the help of technology and with the help of the, the physical education and with the help of Kinect, then it takes only nine months. So there's a huge difference between that and gesture. No special computer requirement is required. The skill is required. Now, he's returning back to the home page. Now he's going to the Fill in the blanks section. Okay, okay. Now, as you can hear, there is a very uh, interactive uh, sound from the uh, system also. So it's interactive and funny also. And it, it always takes the attention from the children to us itself. And now that apps and smartphone and internet is quite popular, right? But uh, think of women in Nepal. Do they have access to this smartphone and internet? Maybe in cities they have the number is quite good, but in rural areas, they are very far beyond technology. So, I think SMS is the best option we have to target to such people because about 64.63% of Nepalese people have access to mobile phone, and all of these mobile phones have the SMS help, right? <laughs> and so, we are trying to solve two problems with the use of SMS technology. The first one is the child healthcare, child and maternal healthcare problem and the birth registration problem. Now let me tell you how this works. Now what we have to do is like type PREG and send it to our number. Now I think that's already you can like yes. send it. And what happens is after that PREG is sent to our server, we register that number and we start giving her prenatal healthcare tips. 
like birth date, detect, birth detect prevention, nutrition, and about the uh, information about nearby all healthcare and healthcare center. It's like that. And after she gives birth to the child, she can again send BIRTS and send it to our server, and she can start getting postnatal healthcare tips on okay, what vaccine do I need to give to the child, and all this. And she can also, furthermore, she can also type the name of the child and send it to our server, and our server keeps the database of the child. And furthermore, this father's name, mother's name, address of uh, the child, all this information can be sent to our sent to us, and we keep the database of all this. Also, the organizers say the top five teams will participate in the Idea Studio Mentorship Program. The rising coders, team comprising Avisek Paudel, Arun Kumar Agrawal, Manish Chandra, and Navin Bhatrai of Institute of Engineering Polchok stood third and took away rupees ten thousand. The team e-tech nurse that included Vivek Sharma Chapagai, Samira Sarma, Sanjita Sarma, and Vivek Awal of National College of Engineering won the second prize, which carried a purse of rupees fifty thousand. Engineering Kadda, a group comprising Nepal Engineering College students, Milan Karki and Darpan Purasaini has backed the first prize for an application that tests the safety of drinking water and displays the result with location information on a map. The group received a trophy and cash prize of rupees 100,000. Country Director of Microsoft Innovation Center Nepal, Mr. Elan Tuladhar, started the event with his welcome note. Mr. Tuladhar has been involved with Microsoft in various aspects. He has been a driving force to ensure that the knowledge is spread to the youths of Nepal so as to empower them to have a better and brighter future or, in other words, what he normally calls converting caterpillars to beautiful and knowledgeable butterflies. Participants, everyone, good afternoon. Can you take your seats? We'd like to get started. We're already a little behind schedule. Day before yesterday, 6 o'clock, we were at the bus stop. And from there, the journey for the last two nights, three days, not watching football, being here in the hall, downstairs, all over the place, looking at our solution, making sure that we create innovative solutions for the children of Nepal. This journey for the last two nights, three days has been powerful, energy full, full of energy and most important I think the, the presentations that we saw today, the pitches that we saw today, I think I was talking to a few um, participants, a few of the jury members and one word that sums it all up, awesome. You guys were awesome. Let's start with the <laughs> 560 applicants, that's what it came in. 390 of them being provided with three days of a boot camp. 102 being selected to come here for the Apathon. And out of that, we've got 29 solutions. 29 solutions with such innovation in them. And I was talking to, I mean, earlier, if UNICEF or Microsoft was to actually give this out on a contract, the first thing we would do would have been engaged uh, professionals to create the terms of reference, then that would go out onto a tender, and the tender would be 60 days, and after that six months of development life cycle, and plus lakhs of rupees or more. All of that now is on speed development, where all it takes is two nights, three days to create a solution, and what a solution. At the end of the day, I think what we've got is innovative solutions of for children of Nepal at Child App. I think that's, that's the excitement of this. So um, we hope that in the process, this was a learning process for all of us. For me, it was a great learning process. I learned a new area of child security, new areas of areas that normally I would not have gone into a learning into. Learned a lot from our teams at UNICEF. My area is technology, but there seems to be an underlying areas that where technology can help a lot. And I think that's so interesting for us. I hope it has been, I'm sure it has been a learning experience for each and every one of you as it has been for me. Ms. Hannah Singer gave a very energetic speech and filled the room with a lot of positive energy. She expects many Himal's rest from Nepal. 
She claimed that her travel around Nepal has shown that there is a great energy in the youths of Nepal. She also stated that Nepal is a country with wonderful historical background, the country where Buddha was born. It deserves to be in a better position than it is now. Miss Hana is also looking forward to work with the most successful name in computer industry Microsoft. She emphasized on the fact that youth has to be the pulling force to discourage people from migrating to other countries. The director of Childish Nepal, Dr. Chiring Lama, on his welcome note stated that the country can change with the passion of the youth. He congratulated all the 500 plus participants who showed interest in solving the problem of children through technology. He promised that the top three teams will be incubated in the IDEA camp. He also stated that every individual has a potential to sign and IDEA studio is there to polish the diamond in them. Inspirations for all the young technology innovators of Nepal. And it is a great pleasure and honor for Chavich and also for UNICEF to be associated with people like yourself. You are the Bill Gates of Nepal. Thank you very much. We've always been a very good in making a quick mistake especially our leaders. But the one person came up with a fix in the quick solution as well. Solution through the innovations. Solution using the young innovators, people like yourself. And that is, again, the alumni. Thank you. <laughs> Furthermore, there's a lot of people get involved. And I would like to say big thank you to all the participants. Yes. So give a round of applause for and for you. Congratulations to first, second and third winners of competition who will have passes to go straight to IDS Studio Mentorship Program and be on the national television show. Manav, manav be मानव मानव बीच मान राखी भेद गर छ सब को जो भलो जो नहीं धर्म सके गर छ सब को जो भलो जो नहीं धर्म सके धर्म न हिंदू बौद्ध हो सिख सामन जे धर्म न हिंदू बौद्ध हो सिख सामन जे धर्म चित्त को शुद्धता धर्म शांति सुख जे धर्म चित्त को धर्म शांति सुख संप्रदाय न धर्म हो धर्म न हो चित संप्रदाय न धर्म हो धर्म
Admission open at Everest Florida High Secondary School for plus two science, management, and humanities. सफल मात्रा है ना असल पने बनाऊं सो मने जिम्मेवारी का साथ स्थापना भाई को यस एवरेस्ट प्राइड हाई स्कूल स्कूल शिक्षा को स्तर अनुशासन और संस्कार को प्रभाव में प्रतिबद्ध है पूर्णतया साइचिक प्रयोगात्मक एवं भौतिक सुविधाएं संपन्न तथा मनोरम बातावरण को साथ पढ़ाई होने एवरेस्ट फ्लोरी डा हाई सेकेंडरी स्कूल सांति नगर गेट Education for Leadership and Development, Seabird International College. Admission open at Seabird International College for plus two science and management with travel and tourism, hotel management, computer science, cooperative management. Our special features, excellent results every year, highly modern infrastructure, well-equipped library and science lab, computer lab with internet access, a variety of extracurriculum activities, centrally located in Bhaktapur. Contact Seabird International College, Madhipur Thimi, Sankhadar Chok, Bhaktapur. Email info at seabird.edu.np. Telephone number 6631448-6636-567. Kya is it jatha vavi baato kaatna surakshit chha? जहाँ भावी बाटो काटे रह, अपनों रा और को जीवन जो कि मना पारो। बाटो काटते सदे जेब्रा क्रॉसिंग व आकाशे पुल को प्रयोग करों, अकाल में जीवन गुवाओं ना बाटा जोगियों। जेब्रा क्रॉसिंग को प्रयोग करों, सबे नागरी को परिचय दियों। योनी मार्ग बाटा ने निरंतर पिशाब सुई रहने समस्या जस्लाई प्रस्तुत शिष्टला बन को काठमांडू मॉडल अस्पताल में दक्षे चिकित्सा करुवाट नियमित र निशुल्क रूप में साले किरिया भाई रहे कुछ र ये तो समस्या भाई का महिला आरुले इतना सिक्योर काठमांडू मॉडल अस्पताल प्रदर्शनी मार्ग में संपर्क रहने वाला जो कोई महिला पनी फिस्टुला लिए र अथवा फिस्टुला को उपचार करे को महिला उन्� उन्हें ले स्वास्थ्य संस्था मंगाई चिकित्सक को अनुसार साल्ले किराया करी करना बच्चा जनावरों आवश्यक होने सा तो इसलिए वहाँ स्वास्थ्य संस्था मंगाई करना चिकित्सक को साल्ला अनुसार जांच कराई रहनु आवश्यक होने सा अधिकार खोजों तारा अपने कर्तव्य पनी पालन न करों। युवा प्रेरित कार्यक्रम टेलीविजन मार्फत प्रसारण करने पर एमा हमें ला संपर्क करने होला। यूटीवी सोज फोन नंबर चार सात आठ चार पांच तीन पांच बुद्धनगर काठमांडू। 
स्टूडियो एडिटिंग टेलीजन कार्यक्रम निर्माण डकुमेंट्री प्रोफाइल वा विज्ञापन प्रसारण सामग्री निर्माण करे में हमीर समझना यूथ ब्रोडकास्टिंग सर्विस बुद्धनगर काठमंड मोबाइल नंबर अंठानब्बे एक चालीस एक्काईस चौंतीस अड़तीस अंठानब्बे पांच दस बयासी दुई सौ चालीस रंठानब्बे पांच दस बहत्तर जीरो सन्तावन वर्ष भाग कम उमेर का किशोरी गर्भधारण नगर्न राम हो क्योंकि उन्नाइस वर्ष भाग कम उमेर में गर्भधारण करे में तेस विभिन्न किसिम का शारीरिक तथा मानसिक जटिलता उत्पन्न होने सकता लिंग पहचान को आधार में गर्भपतन सेवा कर बलपूर्वक गर्भपतन सेवा प्रदान करूनी रूप में अपराध हो